He currently is eight, so I would say as he was seven, he, um, he, he has verbal skills, he has ability to speak, um, was very limited to just short statements or short comments. It wasn't l conversation that was a, a give and take conversation. He would ask me for something to drink or something to eat and then I would give it to him and then he wouldn't talk about anything else after that because he received what he, he wanted. His eye contact was, was limited unless I asked for it. If I said, oh, Zane, can you look at me? It wasn't something that was given to us spontaneously. If I had friends over to the house, perhaps he would go in his bedroom and just be by himself rather than join with the, with the, with the rest of us. He also ismed. His ism was um, coloring, a lot of coloring, drawing, building with Legos, building with connects, anything to build with. He actually would do them, I'd say, up to two hours um, at a time. Prior to being introduced to Sunrise Program, um, his interaction with his brother and with his parents, um, my, my husband and myself, was limited to mainly when he wanted or needed something. It was very functional interaction. I guess that would be the term that I would use. The biggest challenge for us, I should say, would be um, the, the, the controlling behaviors. Going to a grocery store that has a, a security camera, so you walk in and you see yourself in the security camera. Um, a good example is that if typically the camera's on and he'll see himself, and um, once the camera was off, and, and that, wasn't, that, that was not what he expected, so he, he refused to go in the store, and he fell on the ground and, and was pretty upset about it and cried. and. You know, it wasn't something I can console him with and go into the store, so we did go home. With his younger brother, we would play board games, but Zane would not want to join in that board games, even simple board games. If um, we were playing with the train set and um, he didn't want the train set set up that way, then it, it um, would end up in, in whether a meltdown or um, the others playing with him would consent to do what the way that he wanted. Toilet training, there was a control issue there. He just didn't want to go. He just didn't, it wasn't something he was interested in. I facilitate an autism support group in the, in the area that I live. And um, I, I know a woman that, um, through that association, she would come every once in a while, and um, she has a 10-year-old daughter that also has autism, and typically at the meetings, um, I, I always felt that she had a, a way of looking at autism and, 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 and her life in it as, as being very uh, hopeless. And, and I remember going to a specific meeting once and her whole demeanor changed. Her whole demeanor was different. I saw in her face the hope and the joy, something so different than what I had ever seen in her before. And this woman started sharing about this wonderful program that she was introduced to. And she introduced me to the Sunrise program. That evening after returning home um, from that autism support group, I got, I got online and I started researching about the Sunrise program. And I went ahead and booked a 25-minute a, a consultation with a, a family counselor immediately. And um, within three months, I believe I was at a startup. I completed a startup in June and then my husband came in August. So we actually didn't start our program until after he returned. It's been about six months since we've been, we've been running our program. We noticed some fabulous changes. His eye contact, fantastic! It has increased in frequency and in duration. Rather than asking for it, we can make it fun and say, oh, Zane, are you talking to the book? Are you talking to me? And he'll look up and, oh, mom, you know. <laughs> the ism is a repetitive and exclusive behavior that our son does. And typically for him, that looked like um, coloring and, and not interacting at all with whoever was around him, building Legos, and it was a very, very solitary, very quiet, um, exclusive behavior. And so he, upon beginning the Sunrise program, he 80 to 90 percent of the time would, would do exclusive behavior, which we would join right in um, and embrace. Six months later, we rarely see an ism, maybe a two-minute break every couple hours. His questions and his 
his interactions are no longer based on fundamental needs. His interaction is based on uh, commenting or curiosity. And once my husband sat there and was drawing and, and my son and him, he believed my son was isming, and my son looked up and he said, Dad, I like your drawing. And uh, we just celebrated that uh, because we had never seen him comment on something outside of his own drawing. He would be happy to talk about his own drawing or talk, but for him to comment about my husband's drawing was a, was a huge celebration. That was a lot of fun. And, and so now currently his, his interactions, interactive attention span, his communication loops, meaning um, as I talk and he talks, there, there's more of that going on. And say perhaps we read a storybook and we're, there's a picture on the page of the storybook um, making assumptions about what might happen after this page, that kind of conversation, or him asking a question, a why question, and he explains what he's thinking or he explains what he's curious about rather than just, just doing it on his own. My son loves um, science, and so right now he's very interested in electricity and how the current works, and so my husband got a battery and some wires and a light bulb that you can hook the the wires to and light the light bulb up. And um, typically, if six months prior to this, if he received something like that, he would be very exclusive and, and just really do it on his own rather than ask questions or, or be curious or be creative. What would happen if we bring plastic? Would, would electricity go through plastic? And, and so typically, he wouldn't allow that interaction. And with the volunteers, he's allowed them to say, well, what if we took this? And, and so he would allow that, that interaction, even if it wasn't his idea. You know, one of the most precious things that I've noticed and what I've wanted for my son is for, for him to be happy. After we began the Sunrise program, the um, amount of energy and enthusiasm that we show in the, in the fun room, I believe has had an impact on him because he will smile now uh, spontaneously or if he thinks something's funny, he'll, he'll, he'll laugh. And, and I, I, for me, I, want, I wanted to see that outward happiness or enjoyment, not just content. And so I've, I've seen that and it's precious. Just the other day as I was preparing breakfast, he came and sat down at the table and had this big smile on his face. And I just thought, Zane, that's a beautiful smile. What are you smiling about? And that outward expression of joy and happiness means a lot to me. We have enjoyed the process of the sunrise. We, we believe in it and we have great hope in, in our son reaching his full potential. And um, whatever that looks like, we have the, the hope in that. And, um, and we're enjoying it at the same time.